Good morning. Uh, today is August 31st, and given that uh, that Labor Day is uh, here in about a week, actually exactly one week, um, I thought I'd take a chance to uh, just give a refresher on how to create a holiday schedule in Spot. Um, the holiday schedule can prevent orders from being promised on the holiday, and it can also prevent uh, route reminders from going out. To create a holiday schedule, you'll come into Setup and Program Configuration in Spot. We're going to come to our company settings. And then we will come down to Mark In Settings. And if you scroll down near the bottom, you'll see holiday schedules here. Now, I've already got one created, but we'll create a new one. I'm just going to call this 2020. We've already got holiday 2020. I'll just call this one 2020. If we come into edit, you'll see that I've got no holidays listed here. But what I can do here is I'm going to come to add, and uh, it looks like Labor Day is going to be on the 7th of September this year. So I'm just going to name this Labor Day. What you name this is really irrelevant, um, just as long it's really just something to help you keep, keep things straight. Then I'm going to set the start date, and in this case I'm only going to set Labor Day as my uh, as my holiday um, because that's the only day that I'm going to be closed and I'm going to disable production during the holiday and I'm going to disable notifications during the holiday now disabling the production will prevent you your your clerks from promising orders and it will automatically push orders past that day onto the following day disabling notifications will prevent your route reminders from going out the night before so any route reminder that would go out on that day, or go out for that day, I should I should say. So let's say you sent a route reminder the morning of, which is very uncommon, but um, it would disable that one. And then the 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 more common method uh, that probably 99% of you use is sending those route reminder emails and SMS messages the night before. This will prevent them from going out on Sunday the 6th for Monday the 7th, as long as you have this notifications piece checked off here. Now this isn't the only part that you need to, that you need to worry about, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. You'll see that I've got my holiday listed there. So now I'm going to hit OK, and now I need to assign this holiday schedule at the store level for every store in my company that is going to be closed on Labor Day, which in most cases that would be all of them. So I'm going to click Yes, uh, I'm going to Save here, and then I'm going to come down to my Store Settings and Mark-in Settings. You'll see that I have a holiday schedule listed right here, and right now that holiday schedule is not set. So I'm just going to set this to 2020. Additionally, you can create different holiday schedules that you can assign at the route level, and I do recommend that you assign this at the route level in addition to the store level. So I'm going to come into my routes here, come down to my route, and let's just choose my Monday, Wednesday, Friday route. And here, uh, we are going to see that I have no holiday schedule set here as well. So I want to make sure that that is set to 2020. Um, you'll see that I don't have it set on these other ones. Now, you want to be a little bit careful because uh, this Salt Lake route here, this is actually a delivery console route. You'll notice it doesn't say SP like you would be, the, like those of you using delivery console would be accustomed to seeing. But um, in order to make this work for delivery console, you do have to set it at the service plan level in delivery console. So if you're if you're using spot routes as they exist today, you will set it here at store settings, route settings, routes, and set it here for the individual route. You can also come into uh, delivery console here. You'll see that I've logged in and I'm already on the service plans page and you select your service plan so I'm going to select Salt Lake here and then you click the little edit pencil here and you'll see that I have a holiday schedule here already set to holiday 2020 I'm going to change this to simply 2020 it's very important that you set this at the route level if you do not set this at at the route level or at the service plan level then you may have route reminders going out for a day that you're not running your route and that is definitely not something that you want so when I save here 
this uh, when my when my job now runs on Sunday uh, to to send my route reminders, it's going to see that m Monday is a holiday and nothing will go out. Okay. Uh, just to kind of demonstrate the way that the route reminders will function, if you see this, uh, we'll just uh, continue saving here. Yes, that's fine. So what I can do is, uh, if I come into Detail and Order, I'm going to choose just one of my test customers, and get that little obnoxious thing out of the way. If I come to dry cleaning, pants, regular, and I'm now going to try to change my promise date. You'll notice that the seventh is grayed out. If I choose it, it's going to say, I'm sorry, promise dates cannot be set to a scheduled holiday. Any automatic promise dates that would land on the seventh will be pushed ahead to the eighth. Now I want to talk a little bit about some of the limitations that you will run into with the ho spot holiday scheduler. Uh, one of the more popular questions that we get is, uh, for my routes, I want to change my Monday Thursday to a Tuesday Thursday and my Tuesday Friday to a Wednesday Friday, basically offsetting my days by one day. This is not something that there is any logic in spot for at this time. Um, any any changes of that nature would have to be done uh, manually to each customer within the route um, at, at this time. Uh, we definitely have um, some ideas on the roadmap for delivery console and how we can accommodate this situation, but there is nothing uh, currently in spot that will accommodate uh, that type of logic. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to our customer care team. A uh, quick reminder that you can uh, create your own cases for the support team uh, through uh, help and support portal. It's not set up on my testing database here, but you can create your own cases for our support team. You can also review any cases that our support team already has, and you can send any messages to our support team regarding any updates, examples, uh, additional questions that you have. Uh, certainly hope this has been helpful, and uh, I, I just thought that given that uh, our holiday is a week away, it might be a good refresher to make sure that you've got your holidays uh, set up properly. Thank you, and have a wonderful afternoon.